Amir Khushru, the Indian Sufi mystic, poet and musician, wrote the following witty poem more than 700 years ago. It's a playful conversation between two women. Listen. He visits my town once a year. He fills my mouth with kisses and nectar. I spend all my money on him. Who, girl? Your man? No, a mango. <laughs> Mangoes originated in India thousands of years ago. They were found in what is now Eastern India, Bangladesh and Myanmar. They were known as Amrapalam, literally mango fruit in Sanskrit and simplified as Ampal in certain North Indian languages. As the fruit travelled to South India, Ampal became Amkai as Kai meant fruit in Tamil. Over time, the word morphed to Mamkai and then Mangai. In Malayalam, Mangai became Manga. Then Vasco da Gama showed up in Calicut on the Malabar coast of India and discovered the delectable fruit, adopting its Malayalam name as Manga in Portuguese, which later became Mango in English. The earliest reference that we have to Manga in a European language is not in Portuguese though. It appears in the 1510 text of Ludovico di Vartema, the aristocratic Italian traveller who visited India in 1504. Manjifera indica is the scientific name of the mango. It's called a stone fruit because of the big hard pit in the middle which contains the seed. In the 17th century, when mangoes were first taken to America, refrigeration did not exist. So fruit had to be pickled to survive the voyage. Bell peppers and other fruits that were pickled also came to be known as mangoes at that time. By the 18th century, mango became a verb meaning to pickle. But long before the Portuguese and Italians, it was Alexander the Great who took mangoes from India. Megasthenes, the Greek historian who came to India during the reign of Chandragupta Maurya in the 4th century BC, wrote in his book Indica that mango trees were planted by the Mauryas as a symbol of prosperity. Chinese Buddhist monk Xuan Sang, who came to India in the 7th century AD to take back Buddhist scriptures, also wrote about the mango. The royalty of medieval India were big fans of the fruit. Alauddin Khilji held a famous mango feast at Sivama Fort, which consisted entirely of dishes made from mango. And the Mughal dynasty's love for the mango changed the course of our history. It influenced Baba's decision to establish his empire in India in the first place. Akbar created Lakhi Bagh in Darbhang Abihar, where he had a hundred thousand mango trees planted. Aurangzeb sent mangoes to Shah Abbas of Persia to win his support for his bid to the throne. The kitchens of Jahangir and Shah Jahan turned out delicacies such as Am Panna, Am Kalos and Am Ka Mita Pulao. Queen Noor Jahan made a famous drink out of mango and rose. Maratha ruler Raghunath Peshwa planted 10 million mango trees to symbolize Maratha supremacy. It is said that the Alfonso mangoes were derived from these trees. Alfonso mangoes are named after the Portuguese general Afonso de Albuquerque who helped establish Portuguese colonies in India. With a rich, flavorful history like this, it is no wonder that the mango is the national fruit of India and Pakistan and the mango tree is the national tree of Bangladesh. I'm the English Nut. Bye for now. Like this content? Do subscribe, like, comment, share, tag your friends. From one English nut to another, thank you and take care.